Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in for another Seek Science Club video powered by Seek Foundation. And today we are going to talk about what is electricity and how to build a simple circuit with a motor. Yay! So let's get started. The materials you are going to need are battery holder, and this battery holder is for AA with 1.5 volts. So you need two of those, two batteries, give you three volt. And you also need a DC motor, a mini DC motor. You don't need this, but I have my whiteboard because I'm just gonna go old school with an Expo marker. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we get started, I just want to have a conversation with you. First and foremost, do you even know what electricity is? Well, if you don't, I can tell you what it is, but you just have to answer a few questions. No, I'm just kidding, you don't have to answer questions, you're not in school. So electricity is pretty much energy, but it's electrical energy. And electrical energy is made up of charges. And the charges that electricity are made up of, it is made up of positive and negative charges and also neutral charges. But one thing most people don't talk about is how those charges are attracted to each other. And when charges are attracted, not inside of an atom, but just an atom itself, they are connected through a force, which is the electromagnetic force. Yay! No, I'm just kidding everyone. But what you need to understand about electricity, it is electrical energy that is made up of different charges. And the charges, it has a unit, and the unit is called Coulomb. It was this French physicist, his name was Charles Augustine de Coulomb. And he was the person to discover the measurement for the electromagnetic forces in different atoms. So because of that, of course, it only makes sense to name it after him, the charge for, I mean, not the charge, but the units for electrical charges. So the unit ends in Coulomb with a capital C. How do I know that? Only because I had to teach it any other way. I probably wouldn't have known either. So there you go, free information. And let's get started or continue on, should I say. So step number one, we are going to create a simple circuit. It normally is done with a mini light bulb, but I don't have a light bulb right now. So I do have a motor and I also have a battery holder with a battery. So I'm gonna put the batteries inside the holder and also connect the mini motor so that you can see if it actually worked to make a simple circuit. The first thing I did, I used the battery holder and I put the two AA batteries inside and the battery holder will actually prompt you which direction to put your battery. Next, there are two ports on here. I am going to add this uh, from each wire. You notice that you have a red wire, you have a negative wire, and these wires will stand for either is positive or negative. So I will connect it to the two ports and if this battery has energy in it, then it should be able to turn this, um, this motor, the, the motor on the inside, this should start to turn and you should hear some noise. So let's go ahead to see if this is going to actually work. You hear that? So I'm gonna take it off. So now we have a simple circuit. A simple circuit, you can use batteries, wires, a light bulb, but I don't have a light bulb, or an electric motor. And so what is happening, you have the electrical energy is traveling through the electrical circuit, or not circuit, but current. So this is a circuit, I'm gonna put this here. I always tell my kids when I was teaching this, like a circle, circuit, circle, but you won't see circle on a test. And you hear that? So it looks like a circle. Let me just put it on here. And it's for this day. All right, so this is a circuit. The energy comes out of the terminal and it's gonna go back to the terminal that it came out. And it is traveling through an electric current, but the electrical energy is traveling through the current through this circuit. Now, how would 
would I know what this looked like inside of a house, inside of a school? How does this relate to the real world? So engineers or architects, some of them, not all of them, depending on what they specialize in, they use symbols. Who can't draw this? I can't. I don't know how to draw this. Or I mean, I could do the best I can, but symbols are pretty easy to draw. I am going to show you some very basic symbols that are used to distinguish what is what for most scientists. So if you use the symbols, if you go to a different country, the scientists will understand that that is the symbol for a motor, that is the symbol for a battery because it's universal, okay? All right, everybody, so here you have it. These are basic symbols that are recognizable to um, those who are in the field of science, especially especially electric electricians. Huh, calm down, any game. And I'm going to draw the simple circuit using these symbols so that you can see exactly how it will look. So this is the motor, a small DC motor. This is our battery here and then a straight line with the two dots on the side will represent the wires okay so let's go ahead and draw a simple circuit and then i will show you the aftermath so here is my electrical diagram that's what it's called so electrical diagram of a simple circuit with my motor and if you notice i close off the motor and depending on some diagrams, it looks different, but it's mainly the gist, it's just what type of motor. And the reason why it's closed off because the circuit has to be closed in order for it to, um, electrical energy to go through the current for it to flow. And so if someone is reading this or looking at this that understands electricity, they would know that this is my battery here. This is my motor and these lines are my wires, all right? So that's all for today and hopefully you learned something about Simple Circuit. You know that it requires wires, it has an electrical charge with the unit of Coulomb because of the French physicist named Charles. In addition to that, you know that the electrical energy travels in an electric current that allows it to go through the simple circuit. So I always teach my kids, C, 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 E, E, E. Electricity requires, well, is electrical energy. The energy travels in a current in a electrical circuit, E, E, E. CCC. Hope you enjoy and stay tuned for the next video. Bye!